going to run a special here today. Something a little different. My grandkids are always wanting to get in on my videos. So, I'm going to offer a special incentive for you to watch several of my next upcoming videos. In each of these videos, one of my grandkids, there's going to be seven of them all together, are going to appear in a cameo role. I'll also include their name. If you email me the name of the seven grandkids that are in my next seven videos to the address below this video in the information line, I'll give you an extra 10% off the next laptop you purchase from me. Any questions, email me. Come up with those names and send me an email with the names and I'll let you know what you need to do to redeem your offer. Good luck and happy hunting for the grandkids. Hi, Fred from the Laptop Barn here. On our YouTube channel, we have a series of YouTube videos that are designed to help our customers and the general public with tips and tricks to fix your computer or enhance its performance. Before we get to the subject of today's video, I want to put just a quick editorial in for who we are. I mentioned we are the Laptop Barn. We're out of Flint, Michigan. We've been selling laptops on the internet for since 1998, so over 20 years. That puts us in a, an old timers in this business. I'm going to put a couple of links below. If you have any questions about the products that we sell or are interested in a great deal on a used laptop, follow the link to our eBay store or our website, or drop us an email. Um, we'd be certainly glad to get back with you. We also supply small computer stores around the country and are always looking for good wholesale customers. So, check us out. Okay, in today's video we're going to show you how to get into system setup, or sometimes called BIOS, uh, on a Dell Latitude laptop. Every laptop has a different key that you use during startup to get into the system setup. This is prior to ever going into Windows. Most Dells use the F2 key. So you can see the F2 key there on the keyboard. When that is pressed immediately after turning on the power, you have to press it right away, that triggers the laptop into going into system setup mode. Okay, again, the sequence, turn the power on, and in this case, hit the F2 key. Now, some other laptops are going to have a different key. You'll have to check that with the manufacturer. Dells are mostly the F2. And then what you're going to see is up in the upper right-hand corner, you'll see a message, preparing to enter setup. When you see that, you know that you've hit that key properly. And you can hit the key several times. I usually sit there and just keep hitting it till I see this symbol. And once you see that symbol, you know that the computer has gotten the command to go into setup. So the laptop is not going to enter Windows. It's going to go into setup. Now, what that's going to do, and again, I'm going to show you here now on video. You hit that F2 key. You can see I'm hitting it repeatedly, and up comes the sign going into system setup. And that key will be different for different models. A lot of IBMs use F1, um, HPs use Escape. Uh, you, but Dells are typically F2 key. Now, here's the screen you get. It's the system setup screen. And there are a number of things you can do. Now, probably you're never going to have to get into here, but just in case, if you're starting to a laptop up and you want to know you know some information about it the first thing on that menu says system information if you click on that you get a a menu there that shows you what the processor is how much memory is in the laptop you can scroll down on dells it'll actually tell you the size of the hard drive not all models do that but it'll tell you the resolution of the screen what kind of video card Lots of information, whether or not it's got a Wi-Fi card in it, what the audio controller is. So that is a bunch of good information. The next choice is to check your battery. This is a useful one. You can tell whether your battery is working. In this case, the health is excellent on this battery. It's charged up uh, pretty good. The next choice, uh, you can change the boot sequence. 
Um, in other words, if you want the laptop when it starts up, typically you start up from your hard drive because that's where Windows is. But if you were loading the laptop for the first time, you might want to boot off a USB flash drive where you have your install files located. So you can actually change that sequence. You can move them up or down. In this case, I'll highlight USB and move it up. Highlight internal, move it up. Okay. I don't want it to do anything off the NIC or this DVD. I don't want it to accidentally boot off those. I turned them off just to have something to do there. Wouldn't hurt if it was on. Okay, next choice, you can change the time. You can also do that in Windows, but you can do it here too. And there's a series of other uh, areas which you'd probably never get into, but there's a um, some con information about all those different features. The serial port, the parallel port. Here's the video. One useful thing there is you can get in and change brightness. Now you can change brightness in Windows also, but this is another place where you can change the brightness on battery and the brightness that the laptop will see for AC power. Okay, you can also, there's a security tab where you can go in and set passwords. I don't ever do that because it's too easy to forget the passwords, but if you wanted to put an administration password on there or a system setup by password so nobody else could get in to this area where you are right now, you could do that. Please don't forget when you sell your laptop, get in there and take them passwords off or the next guy's going to have a lot of trouble. Here's another useful one down towards the bottom, the wireless, that should be enabled. Those boxes should be checked. If they're not, could have a problem. Wireless might not work. Okay, once you've made the changes and you're ready to go on, you can hit apply and then exit. You also have the option there to load the defaults. That'll put everything back the way it was to start. That's handy sometimes if you're reloading it because you don't know where the thing uh, may have been. That's it. Hope this helped. Okay, that pretty much does it for uh, this video. It's a fairly straightforward procedure. If you have any questions, uh, drop us a note down at the bottom of the page here. Uh, like our channel if you're interested in seeing any other uh, videos we come out with. Uh, subscribe to us. We uh, try to put out things which we get answer, ask questions of on laptops that we sell. We try to put out little tips and tricks. That's it. Remember the F2 key for Dells.